I'm Anna Lydon. I'm the lead physiologist and service manager for the clinical neurophysiology department here at the Whittington. Before you have the test, if you're taking any medication, please carry on taking it as prescribed. It's best to bring a list of your medications with you. Please wash your hair before the test and try to avoid using any extra products like gel, spray or oil as these can make it more difficult to record the signals from your scalp. Wigs and weaves do need to be removed for the test to be performed. Apart from your brain waves, we also record your heartbeat, so please wear a top that's loose fitting around the shoulders to give us access. We like to record the brain activity in a relaxed state. Please make sure you've had something to eat before the test is performed, arrive in good time for the appointment, and use the bathroom prior to the test beginning. A routine awake EEG takes around an hour to complete. A sleep EEG is likely to last around one and a half hours. We ask you to sleep less the night before so that you're tired on arrival for the test and you're more likely to fall asleep during the recording. Your physiologist is a highly trained and specially qualified clinical scientist. They'll bring you into the room and ask you some questions about your symptoms and about your medicines. They'll ask you to lie or sit down in a comfortable chair and set up the recording. The head is measured and marked so we can place the recording contacts on different areas of the scalp. We often use a neck to keep the leads in place while the test is being carried out. A mild abrasive is used to clean the skin and you'll feel a gentle rubbing on the skin as this is being applied. The contacts record the signals made by the brain in the same way as ECG records the signals made by the heart. The test is completely painless and there are no side effects. As we record, we may ask you to open and close your eyes and sometimes ask you simple questions to test the reactivity of the brain. We may ask you to take some deep breaths, which will be explained at the time of the test, and may ask you to look at a flashing light at different rates to see if there are any changes associated with epilepsy. We hope this video has been helpful to you, and we look forward to welcoming you to our department soon.